Amazon MQ is a managed message broker service for Apache ActiveMQ that makes it easy to set up and operate message brokers in the cloud. In this demo, I'll show you how to create a message broker and start sending messages through the Amazon MQ console in just a couple of minutes. I'll also show you how Amazon MQ gives you a highly available broker across availability zones and integrates with Amazon CloudWatch for monitoring. First, let's create a broker by entering the broker name and selecting Next Step. Next, I pick the instance size I want. Let's pick a large and the deployment mode. We'll choose Active Standby for this demo. Then I enter the username and password for access to the console and click Create Broker. We can see the broker creation is in progress. Let's look at a broker that we have already got up and running. So here's the details of the broker. We can see the specifications of that broker, the configuration, and the security and network settings. We support VPC endpoints by default. Here are the endpoints available to wire up your code for each protocol and two links for the active MQ console. Let's go to the active console and let's look at the standby console and we can see that the standby is unavailable as expected. Let's go back to the active broker, enter the username and password and let's go and create a queue. We'll call it my queue and let's go ahead and send some messages to that queue. So we'll turn on persistent delivery and send 100 messages. Persistence ensures that the messages are stored to a durable media. Now let's initiate a failover and see what happens. So we'll select reboot broker and what will happen is it will fail over from the active broker to the standby and then back to the active. Let's go and look at CloudWatch metrics and see what it looks like. Okay, we'll select Amazon MQ broker metrics and let's look at the total message count across broker one and broker two. And we'll zoom in here and take a look at uh, one minute resolution metrics. So the blue line is the initial active instance and the orange is the standby. So you can see here there's a hundred messages in the active broker and then we fail over we have a hundred in the standby and then back to the active broker and a hundred messages. As you can see it's really simple to get started with Amazon MQ. To learn more about Amazon MQ and to try it for yourself please visit our website.